Right, so today's results, in my opinion, are the reason why everyone should stop doing cyclocross and get back to doing proper road training because there's massive disadvantages to doing cyclocross and we already know who's the best. So Van der Poel is just like a million times better than everyone. It's really obvious. He just is the best cyclocrosser in the world. There's no debating it. Wild Van Aert is good and was good, but now he just can't compete. He should just bin it off. I know he gets paid a lot of money, but like he just won every race he's done Van der Poel this year. Like two minutes today is just ridiculous. So it's really clear in my mind that Van der Poel is just so much better than Wout at cyclocross when both when they're trying, let alone when they're not trying. And obviously when they're not trying, uh, Wout Van Aert like is just not that good because he's not trying to be good for psycho so why is he even turn up i literally don't understand it makes zero sense so i think he should bin it off straight away if you look at wild van Aert, in cyclocross he's won everything um you know he's won the the world champs three times you know you don't need to do anything else that you, you've done it all mate you completed it cyclocross there's no need for you to hack around you know you he won in zolda um and one in what SM this year, but it's like, come on, mate, you don't, you don't need to. You good, you good enough, mate. Just relax. And um, I think to be honest, he should just bin it off and go full on the road. And I think he'd go a lot better on the road. And yeah, so I think Wat Van Art is obvious. The next one is Pidcock. Now Pidcock, I reckon I'm even more convinced he should bin it off. Now Pidcock is just not good at cyclocross, and everyone says that this is as like some kind of offense thing. He's one meter seventy, fifty eight kilos. You just can't be good at cyclocross. You can be okay. You can be good. Like he's won a world champs, but you can't really be that good when you got Wow and Matthew around you. And I just don't really get it. It's like mate, you've won a world champs. That's all you're gonna be able to do. You're never gonna be able to win one again if Van der Poel or Wow are there. So what's the point? Like, I know you get paid money to turn up, but what is the point? Like, yeah, I know you won a World Cup in the more cool, but you're basically getting punted. 25th, yeah, I know in mechanicals. Today, 12th, just like me, give it up. Just completely give it up. You're trying to win the tour. There's bigger fish to fry. You've won everything you can in cyclocross, except maybe Europeans elite, but that no one really cares about that. You've won a world title. Just relax, isn't it? So, done. I just go, yeah, cyclocross, mate. Ben Tullett. You never hear Ben Tullett doing cyclocross. He was unreal at cyclocross, Ben Tullett. Never does it. And the reason why I'm so convinced is if we actually look at Pidcock's pro cycling stats now, he was really good at GC races. Like, under 23 Giro, big man won by like two and a half minutes. And you might go, oh, who are these people he beat? Well, true. But he did beat everyone quite convincingly um, in that. He also did Alsace, which again is a classic like under 23 hilly race again you can say who did he beat maybe not the, the best people in the world but still he'd win them like he is good at in my opinion uh a gc guy he's won the, the tour de france stage up out the obviously tour of britain okay that's not really a massive gc race but my point is is that like what he's good at uh is um gc stuff if he wants to be cyclocross doesn't help gc stuff it's just, it's just incompatible. Um, I don't really know. Ever there's all this phase of oh, it's good for the punch. It's like you don't need punch to be good at forty minute climbs. That's what he's got to get better at. Like he's just just bin it off. Um, if you look at like last year, like he he started off well, Strada Bianca, but like then he d he didn't look like mega in a lot of the races. Okay, yeah, good spring here, but then Swiss and the Tour, he looked okay, but he didn't look unreal. And I just think in reality. He's just got to bin this stuff off and just go all in on the tour. And today's result, uh, what was it? Five and a half minutes back. Like, what's the point? Even if he finished third, three minutes back, like, there's just there's just no point. Um, and in my opinion, he's got bigger fish to fry. And side cross is not helping him. Um, he also said in that Matt Stevens video that he has to try so hard to be good at cyclocross, which makes sense because it's not na something that naturally suits him. Um, and yeah, he should like in that it's the only one he really has to try and, and he should just stick to mountain bike. He's he's just the best mountain bike in the world. It's really obvious he is. Um, he's a lot better than Matthew Vanderpol, obviously. Um, and he should just stick to that and do road, mop up those Olympic tiles every year, um, and bin off cyclocross, won the world champs. No need to do anything else. Won, won British national champs. Won some Europeans when he was younger. Job's good, isn't it? No need to stress. So, yeah, I just think my conclusion from today's race in Baal, Van der Poel's obviously the best. Um, then, wow, 
uh, and ca and Pidcock can be good on his day, but he cannot be. Um, I'd like to see all the the big boys leave um, and give it back to the farmers because I think it would be useful to see uh, some of the people coming up. Uh, one, a lot of these guys are quite old, but just be useful, you know, to to not have the big boys turn up because when Matthew and Wout turn up, they just are better than everyone else by quite a long way. Pidcock can be better than everyone else, but I just think he he needs to concentrate on other stuff. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.